John, John Constable. Constable. So he was the first one in England, and he, he went early. out and painted. He was just interesting. Basically painting the gardens fields, painting, painting gardens, painting okay. uh, everyday subject matter. But uh, in, in France, they were painting the peasants. Exactly. And one of my favorite paintings from that era is the gleaners. Yes. And I didn't even know what gleaners were until that painting, until I studied that painting, painting and right. realized they were the people that would go back after the harvesters mm -hmm. and they would pick the seeds that had fallen. Exactly. Glean the ground, clean the land of the and fallen seeds. That's what a gleaner seed. was, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, so we have gleaners now, they just go through your trash and pick out the bottles for five cents a piece. Same thing. Same same idea. That's you're gonna, true. You're going to throw that away? It's worth money, man. That's true. Yeah. So it's a lot of work, but you get <laughs> right. something out of exactly. it. So, uh, you know, if somebody today painted today's gleaners, would 150 years from now, would people find that romantic and beautiful? I don't know. You know, I think there's an awful lot of that kind of subject matter then and questions that are being asked today. And I think you look back uh, 40 or 50 years ago to the 1960s, and who would say that pop art by Rauschenberg and some of those people okay. at that period of time would be viewed as uh, as art today? And I'd have to say that uh, you could go through not only Rauschenberg, but Jasper Johns and Robert Indiana and, of course, Andy Warhol. Um, they've certainly manufactured their own culture and their own pop art era. And it, uh, they, their work is now bringing millions on the on the Well, I'm glad you market. brought that up because... Just like many people back then, <laughs> the, some of that work is being devalued because that's, it's fall, one falling apart. Poor Jackson, that's uh, true. his work is just coming off the canvas. Yes. What are you can do with a thirty million or a three million dollar piece? Mm -hmm. Well, here we go. We've got Andy Warhol now. Andy Warhol. There you go. Um, I believe that Andy Warhol's work is um, is not art. It's advertising. Uh, uh, he took popular things already. Campbell Soup Can, Marilyn Monroe. He took yeah. uh, advertising. Uh, you know, advertising common everyday style of right. presenting work common everyday subjects right presented in a uh, an interesting and artistic so fashion as artistic you think absolutely that's artistic? absolutely i and, don't believe it in fact andy warhol for an instance was a shoe illustrator for uh, gimbals in philadelphia as a freelancer um and you take his cross sections and his um he did his shoes. Grid, he did shoes in a grid. And he, and he would lay his shoes out in that grid. He just simply replaced the shoes with, with Marilyn Monroe. He did and shoes too in, in the fine art Absolutely. industry. Okay, right. so now, I, I'm, I'm actually confused as to why you think he's good when you know this about him, right? Of course. And all right, so and then he 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 is in the middle of the pop art. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure why he caught on and why he stayed on, but every single museum in the country I've ever been into has at least one, if not ten, Andy Warhols in their collections. And I think it's because he did so many, right? True. And it was easy because he had a crew of people doing it for him. Well, okay, he developed the, uh, an art form at that time that was going through an evolution. It was called serigraphy, which is uh, basically an art form based with a silk screen, a handmade silk screen, which means it's basically a print medium or a print style in which you have an original and you can come in with four this or five or six also. or two hundred this is new this is a new style i wouldn't call this images. art i call this a magazine cover it is a it's magazine beautiful, cover it's beautiful but i don't consider it to be art now it's I have, cover art if you were right. to if, get if the i were original. to frame that is it going to be worth something so probably i've got um 50 years from now all right so now i need to i need to read something to you <laughs> from here it is i've got I mean, i've got all this stuff here and i don't not this not this really? not this not, not this <laughs> No, not this. Okay, here. Where is it? I found one in here that I think is just, here it is. Ah, by Craig Stevens, a journalist, right, in England. All mm -hmm. right. People liked them, and this is the pop art. But, and there's a large part of the collecting population that was simply tired of looking at all that modern crap that wasn't just shtick, craft, talentless blobs of nothing. There was a hunger for reality, and it's shocking normalcy. And he's talking about the why plein air art is becoming popular today because they're sick of that schlock. That and could very well be, but that blah, schlock, you know, the re the, your, your reference to the schlock goes back 40 to 50 years. What's going on in plain air now is, a, is another generation, yeah, we can have 40 a whole years diverse. We can have a whole show on this because of what course. I have marked in here is we've got other people that are doing things like this. Can you get this on the, on the camera here? Where do we have a camera? Camera one. Take a look at this. See? Oh, let me. There you go. See this? Look at that. Now that's art. That's an that's an art news. Look at this guy. He's with a chain on. He's naked and he's banging his head. 
that is exactly where modern pop art has gone today, where their people are devaluing right. themselves, they're hurting themselves, right. and they're doing weird sexual acts. Exactly, but that's right. not part of the '60s pop art culture. But that's what it grew into. And that it's may crap, be, but and because it grew worse. into doesn't mean okay. that. Just All right. What I'd like you to do is let's Bless go back you. to plenty. <laughs> okay.